Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Blessings and peace to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yahushua HaMashiach, all glory and honor to the Most High Yah. Give him all honor, glory, and praise. Thank you for giving me another day to, to get it right, to, to serve you, and to do your will, and to proclaim your name. Um, give you praise through my life, and honor you through my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to go over two verses here with you guys today <clears throat> real quick uh first one's through proverbs nineteen seventeen, and it says uh, caring for the poor is lending to the most high and you will be repaid okay when i look at this scripture it's like you know everything belongs to god anyway to the most high um nothing is really ours because when we die it goes to someone else regardless and whatever we have the clothes we have the the house we have the um, our children belongs to the most high nothing is truly ours and so we're only borrowing it for the time being while we're here um and we are to be good stewards of what we have as well so whatever god has provided us with you know through our work um, because he gives us the ability to work he gives us the ability to do all these things and and most importantly it's just to glorify him Everything we do, if when you when you start to study the Word of God and you start to understand the Word of God, you start to see that, and when you develop your relationship with the Most High through prayer, and um, you know communicating with Him and reading His Word, then you can understand what His requirements are for us. Everything that we do should glorify Him. Everything that we um, we every person that we 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 see, uh, every situation that we face, we have to give honor to the Most High in all things. Um, you know, we we we're, none of us is gonna have it completely right. That's why we have to continually seek Him every day, and lean on Him and lean on His strength, not our own. Um, that's why you look at now in the world, you see a lot of uh, spiritual persecution, a lot of oppression, spiritual oppression. It seems like the days are are are, are a little bit more burdensome because of the evil, the amount of evil that's elevated in the atmosphere right now um and you see the changes of the weather you see um you know last night there was some there was a moon out um you know real real big bright moon it was really not that late on um, the clouds and the sky you know there's things in the air the atmosphere is changing around you um you know we are in you know you can definitely tell and feel that there's something to come you know we are in the last days we definitely know that you know if you match up the scriptures with what's going on in the world today you can definitely see that but that's why we must be um we stay close to the most high we must trust in him only only in the lord jesus christ Yahushua, and not on our own self not on our own will we must listen and obey to the holy spirit because it's a battle for your mind people battle for your mind a battle for your soul and the only thing that's going to preserve you is staying committed to the Most High through His Word and being led by His Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Uh, and then this which leads to is Psalms uh, was 73 and 26. It says, My body and my mind may fail, but you are my strength and my choice forever. Okay, read this. This is basically what I was saying. You know, our bodies and, and our minds fail. We, we fade away. We can't take nothing with us. Uh, we are limited in what we can do. We are little gods. God created us to, to manage everything that we have, but we have limitations. We cannot exceed what he's able to do. We can't even come close. There's nothing that we can do to come close to being what the most high is to us, right? Um, he, he is superior in all things. He's the creator of all things. He, he is the one who gives us our minds to be able to do what we need to do. Uh, but but at the same time, he made it so that we wouldn't be able to, you know, come close to what he we, we have to. We were created to trust in him. Bottom line, we were cre created to to communicate with him, to be able to understand who he is. We are the only one, only uh, beings, you know, on this earth to be able to understand him. You know, in you know, the, you know, you have angels and fallen angels around us. He created those as well. But no animal can communicate with the Most High like we can. He made it so that we had dominion over the animals, over all the creation. 
because we have to glorify him and not serve other idols and other gods. He specifically made that. We were made in his image. You know, a lot of people think that they can make it to the most high on their own, and they can't. You can't do it. You have to go through Jesus Christ. There's an order to the most high, you know. He set things in order, and that's why we cannot rely on our own strength, but rely on his wisdom, his guidance. Cast your worries and your burdens on him, because if you try to win this war, this spiritual war in the flesh, you're going to lose every time. You know, our flesh is dead. We we are we are fallen, fallen, you know, uh, fallen creation, fallen individuals. You know, our flesh is weak. We don't have the ability to overcome our flesh because the heart of man, the flesh, our flesh is, is naturally cursed, you know, because of Adam and Eve, because of the sin. So through that, we are born again through Christ. So once we die to our old self, we become new. We become more like Christ. We become understanding of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes upon us, okay? And then we're transformed. We know the truth. We can follow the truth. We're not led to our own ways or our old ways, but we're born again anew. And that's the difference between being a believer and an unbeliever. A true believer is that you have the Holy Spirit. You're led. Once you receive Christ, you have that understanding of what's required. How can you be, how can you navigate through this life, this obstacle, this journey called life, um, and, and, and know the right path and not be deceived by the deception and the lies of this world or the lies of your flesh or the lies of the enemy. So that's why it says, trust in the most high with all your mind. You know, Proverbs 3, 5, lead not to your own deception, but he will direct your paths. Let the most high direct your paths. Let him guide you and lead you. In all aspects of your life. Do not trust in man. Don't trust in man. Trust in the word. If I deviate from the word of God. Don't listen to me. But if I stay in the word of God. Do you know that spirit is coming from that one spirit. And that's the Holy Spirit. My job is to stay connected to the word of God. To be a messenger. To be a helper. To be a leader. Um, whatever I could do to help my brothers and sisters grow in Christ. And lead them in. Anybody have any questions, anything that I can help you with? If I may not help it, I can find other resources to help you. But my my job is to be here to be a um is to be a um, representative of Christ, being able to spread his message and lead as many souls as I can to Christ. That's what I want to do. That's why I do this every day. I want to help the kingdom of God in any ever way I can. Um even when I go to the gym, even when I encounter people in the streets. I want to be that representative of Christ. You know, I mean, I may not have all the, I don't have all the answers. I know I don't, but I know through the Holy Spirit, through the word of God, I can provide you with those answers. If not, I can find other resources to assist you as well, but it has to be lined up with the scriptures. But I love you, brothers and sisters. Blessings and peace. Stay strong. Endure to the end. Never give up. Jesus is coming back. Yahushua is coming back. Stay strong, brothers. Don't quit and don't fold. Don't let the enemy deceive you to take you out of your, your rightful place, the kingdom. I love you guys. Blessings. Peace.